That's two partners you lost. Your partner died. Ah, 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 Dude, that is the best death scene ever. No! That is the best death... Alrighty, everyone. Well, welcome to the Daily Wrap for Sunday, the 12th of June, 2022. Uh, man, <clears throat> today, the best way to describe today would basically be, you know, if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. Um, let me just summarize what we did today. Every day, eating at home. You know what I'm saying? Um, and what, a day to not have to cook when you cook all week long is just... It's more relaxing than having to say, well, because we were talking about it. And we're like, well, what happens if today's not a good day for me? And I don't raise a lot of tips and we just don't have a lot of money for tomorrow. Like, well, we can't eat out. What are we going to do? We're going to have to get like something real cheap to just whip together at home. You know, maybe so try to get some like 10 temp- name brand product because I'm trying to save as much money as possible. So you're buying the lower grade stuff. Still fine. Still okay. It's not terrible stuff, but trying to save money, right? For six home cooked meals. Actually, in reality, more than that because we eat more than that. You know, we have more than one meal a day, but six dinners, you know, trying to save money. Um, and then whatever I need for around the house, um, I'm going to come home, unpack, and then we're going to go out and we're going to uh, do what we need to do for the day. Whether that means, you know, buy pet supplies for Jasper, which I know for a fact we need to get him pet food this or uh, food this week, cat food. He's out or we're going to be out. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I, I think, no, no, we, we're getting haircuts tomorrow. We need to react, because you guys wanted it, to the Xbox and Bethesda Gaming Showcase. However, this Gaming Showcase started at 10 a.m. Pacific Time much earlier than when I would usually be doing my stream. So I got up very early, basically Sony Interactive. They jumped on the Sony bandwagon and, oh, see, because Kojima's over there. It's all Sony all day long, man. Sony, Sony, Sony. And now you come to realize, actually, he's not a Sony fanboy. He just he's doing what's right for his co- his company and his products. And I, oh no, oh I, I backed the wrong horse. No, you didn't back the wrong horse. You just you get too riled up about shit. <laughs> Seriously. Anyway, so yeah, it was funny because you saw some people freaking out on the internet over this. So yeah, it was funny because you saw some people freaking out on the internet over this. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. Fist and coffee, trying to hurry to get here to the stream in time to do my pre-stream beforehand. <clears throat> and then do the live react. Um, for the most part, the live react went down without a hitch. Um, and then after that, I did my recap reactions, okay? So, all in all, I did a pre-stream podcast. I did a live react. I did my recap reactions, and then I even went further and did about 45 minutes of Q&A. Then I remind generic white male that Jolanda told him she was 15. What? No way. Okay. Seriously, there were so many people who were speculating on the internet before that showcase what they were going to see, but 99% of the speculation was for stuff that definitely was not coming out within a year. So immediately when they say, oh, this is only going to cover a year. That's going to disappoint a lot of people. Why didn't they say that up front? All right? And some people are speculating, but here's my take. I don't, th- I don't think they wanted to disappoint people and have people tune out. Because if you say, the only thing we're going to cover is things in the next year, some people might be like, well, I know there's really not much going on in the next year that I'm interested in. I'm interested in this, 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 so I'm just going to tune out. And they didn't want that. They wanted to have record views. They wanted to advertise, oh, look how many people watch this this broadcast in this short amount of time. They live on metrics. They live on these visible metrics of trying to promote how popular and how... <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> no offense. You're goddamn right. It has not been easy for me. And, you know, I, I started off in Brooklyn. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. I came into Manhattan. And- well, they did. 
So if immediately up front you're honest with everyone and you say, hey, we're only showing stuff coming out in the next year, so that means most of the stuff you're interested in won't be in the show, boom, you immediately have killed your viewers, right? Like half of them aren't going to even tune in and like, screw this, right? Um, and in addition, see, Darziak made an interesting point. Not Darziak, excuse me. Um, Dab, Dab, Dab Hands made an interesting point. He says, you know, and even with them only presenting games that were supposed to come out in the next year, how many had real release dates? Not many. Most of them were like a... Uh, <laughs> don't even get me started on the combat I mean everyone is tearing this game apart for the combat I mean I'll be honest the combat looks like shit it doesn't look unique like when you play Fallout okay what's unique about the combat well it starts off as an FPS but then you've got VATS right and the VATS dramatically changes the way the combat pans out in addition based on the upgrades and perks that you've bought the combat has a ton of variables, right? In this game, it literally looks like you're playing a shitty third-person shooter. It just looks terrible. The enemies are bad. They have terrible AI. It's like they panic and run around like idiots, waving their arms above their heads instead of fighting you. Um, you and, and, you know, what's the point of having an experience bar and a health bar and all of that above their heads if it really doesn't play like an RPG? A lot of people... Well, he's fairly intelligent. Ah, he's full of shit! <laughs> And we're back. This is Mr. New Vegas, and I feel something magic in the air tonight. 2,000 years later. <clears throat> Although the live react stuff was claimed, it's still visible. So, all in all, I'm okay with that. I'm happy with it as long as you guys can watch it. Sucks that I can't make any ad revenue on that after the fact. But I think that's the nature of the beast when you're doing react style content the stuff that has music in it, it's gonna get claimed. And there's really nothing I can do about that. But, my entire recap reactions is live and is fully fine. Nothing claimed at all. <laughs> Differently to the Xbox Bethesda Showcase, let me tell you. I've actually seen completely different attitudes towards the Xbox Bethesda Showcase. Some really liked it, some hated it. Like, wow. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. Could have just grabbed one of these. <laughs> Segment. You know, that last hour of after talking that long, um, that actually some people kind of contributed more because I think what it is they saw how low it was. Um, I don't know what caused that. People seem to like the React event, but it just happened. Okay, so at the end of what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything. So I said, I'm going to end early here, and I'm going to go eat because we did. I told my wife, hey, make dinner in early. We're both hungry. We'll eat. So we did. We had some tuna casserole and all that. Um, I was so exhausted, I fell asleep. I passed out taking a nap, I was just gonna like lay down on my bed for a few. Julian! I don't know where I felt like I could get a little drink around. Hoping, hey, yesterday the quarry picked up. It really did. Yesterday the quarry picked up really good. The plot got much better. We had a plot dump kind of explaining all the lore of everything going on in the game, making it much better. And a lot of the teen angsty cringe bullshit ended. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I started the Q&A session, which was after all of it. Yeah, it was after the live react. It was after my recap reactions. Really, some people... Came, oh, Phil's going to do a Q&A, and then they came and started, and I got some tips and stuff, and it was like, wow, we till the last hour of, like, a seven-hour stream. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> so, here's the thing, you know? Um, th these are all things I have to think of. My health... You know, the amount of support that I get is all important things I have to think of because without that, you know, I can't operate a business. If I can't talk, I can't make content, right? If I can't raise funds to... I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Me... <laughs> ...up and supporting the Corey streams, all right? So already I can tell you, people are saying, are you going to do a second run? I don't think so. If anything, that tells me that people are not enjoying it enough 
that they're not supporting it, that why am I going to play it again? I can't keep doing streams that people aren't going to support. I was getting more support playing Zelda Link to the Past, playing Uncharted 2, playing literally every other game that I've played in the last several weeks got more support than the core. I'm just saying, even older games. So <clears throat> I get it. Really show much new besides maybe like one other thing of Leon walking through the village and how the village looks a little different. I mean, for me, the biggest thing about Resident Evil 4 Remake is that they're basically gonna have new controls. I just played Resident Evil 4 in January, okay? The controls leave something to be desired, especially with the speed that you can aim and fire, although that adds to the tenseness of the game really because you can't really aim and fire fast, but maybe this is gonna be more modernized. Everything's gonna be fast and responsive. You'll probably have a dodge button, which you didn't have in Resident Evil 4. And to talk for six straight hours, my voice got completely screwed up. I was so, so like, you know, tired and stressed. I passed out for a couple hours in the middle of the day, which almost never happens. Um, and then I had to rush to the late stream. And even though we made good progress on the late stream, uh, you know, basically support all day today was incredibly slow compared to what you would think. A, a special day doing a react event, a new release game. Yeah, this didn't work out. Uh, I hope you enjoy all the content that I put out today. And certainly I hope that tomorrow will be a better day support-wise because it was like, it was just like insult to injury. You know what I mean? Like I already felt shitty. I had gone out of my way to do something special for the viewers. And I already you could hear it in my voice. I was suffering from it. And on top of that, everything's slow as well. It's like, geez. Be sure to watch the other video I'm going to make to explain what I'm doing tomorrow. All right. And uh, have a good night. Thanks. Worthless specimen. Get that ass banned.